fungi are a natural part of the environment and can be found all around us. Some types of fungi, including those found in our environment and others in mold-infested indoor environments, can cause infections in some people. This is particularly true with people with a weakened immune system. The following are some of the more well-known fungal diseases and the pathogenic fungi that cause them. Aspergillus is a common fungus that can be found in some indoor and outdoor environments. Aspergillosis is the name of the infection caused by aspergillus. There are several different kinds of aspergillosis. Blastomycosis is a disease caused by the fungus Blastomyces dermatitidis. The fungus lives in moist soil and in association with decomposing organic matter such as wooden leaves. The symptoms of blastomycosis are often similar to flu symptoms. Candidiasis is a fungal infection caused by yeasts that belong to the genus Candida. There are over 20 species of Candida yeast that can cause infections in humans, the most common of which is Candida albicans. Coccidioidomycosis, also called valley fever, is an infection caused by the fungus Coccidioides, which lives in the soil of dry, low rainfall areas. It is endemic in many areas of the southwestern United States, Mexico, Central, and South America. Cryptococcus is an infection caused by fungi that belong to the genus Cryptococcus. There are over 30 different species of Cryptococcus, but two species, Cryptococcus neoformans and Cryptococcus gaudi, cause nearly all cryptococcal infections in humans and animals. Dermatophytes are fungi that cause skin, hair, and nail infections. Infections caused by these fungi are also sometimes known as ringworm or tinea. There are many different species of dermatophytes that can cause infection in humans. Two of the most common types are Trichophton rubrum and Trichophton tonsorans. These are just a few things to know about fungal pathogens. In part two of this video series, we'll discuss other common fungal pathogens. To learn more about fungal pathogens, health and safety, or other environmental and indoor air quality issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.